in a nocturnal state of mind. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I, and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. Thank you for joining me once again, my friends. I hope all is well with you. And as always, I want to kick this video off by giving a great big shout out to you, the viewers, everybody out there who contributes to my channel through your likes and your shares and your subscriptions, everybody who comments. I really do appreciate that. And of course, everybody who contributes through the Cash App that's in the pinned comment below, as well as the Super Thanks feature that you will find on all of my videos. All right, guys. Now, I want to get into a little bit more uh, Good Times talk. Now, I know that there's a lot of people out there who are saying, man, you just got to wait to see it. Why are you commenting on it? You got to wait to see it. Listen, the news is the trailer, okay? People will talk about the show after the show debuts. But right now, everybody is reacting to this trailer. And of course, that's the reason why they put it out. So it would seem strange not to talk about something that was put in front of us so miss me with that okay so we're going to talk about good times here and um of course as i said everyone's been talking about this and what i've noticed with people who are talking about this on youtube here uh those who are making commentaries about this is there is a question that keeps on coming up when you talk about this trailer who is this for Everybody is asking, who is this for? It cannot possibly be for black people because it's got all of these crazy, ridiculous stereotypes in it. So who could it possibly be for? I believe that I have the answer to this. And um, it, I mean, it shouldn't even be a revelation, guys. We should know. I mean, this is, this is pretty um, consistent with what we've been seeing and what I've been talking about now for years. But I did have a revelation. Uh, and it's funny, uh, two things, right? I was watching, I mean, first of all, number one, it was the video that I did talking about Yvette Nicole Brown and what she was talking about, about how uh, this is going to be talking about the uh, st systemic uh, racism and the boot that black people always have on their necks and all of that stuff. So that's kind of a tip off right there. And then I watched um, Jeremy from The Quartering. I saw his video talking about this and I had to watch it because I haven't seen too many white content creators making videos about this Good Times reboot. So I'm like, okay, let me see what, what Jeremy's talking about. Shout out to him. And uh, it just made me laugh as I watched him. Like, big respect to you, bro, but... The way you were stumbling through this was high comedy because you could tell and he admitted he never watched Good Times and he was very unfamiliar with the characters on Good Times. He was unfamiliar with the actors who were going to be involved in the reboot and he just couldn't figure it all out, right? But one thing he did know is that it seemed like it was humorous to him that uh, the woke, uh, for lack of a better term, right? the woke in the industry were getting this backlash for trying to do something that they thought was going to be catering to black people. So in other words, they were having their hypocrisy thrown back at them. And I believe Jeremy thought that that was humorous, right? And um, it just, like watching him, I was like, you know something? You ain't seen nothing yet. You know, to all the white creators out there who are not talking about this show, like this, this might age badly. This might age well. But I'm going to do a little bit of a... a, a, a um, a look ahead into the future. I'm going to predict. I'm going to make a little prediction here about how this thing is going to go down, right? And it begins with the question, who is this for? Okay. Now, we have already established that this is not for black people. It can't possibly be, right? Because it's no good for us. It doesn't look good on us. It doesn't feel good to us. Uh, just going by the trailer, okay? But what I do believe that this show is for, I believe this show is for white people. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. I think it is. And I think for, for Jeremy, you know, big props to you for trying to tackle this. But you're a little bit early, my friend. All right. Once this show comes out, and I'm making this prediction, once this show comes out, I believe that what it's going to do is it's going to show that everybody who's in the ghetto, who's in the projects, who's in the hood, is basically there because they're victims of white supremacy. I think that's going to be what this show is going to be about. And once it gets out and once some of these white content creators see that they've been cast as the bad guy, white men and everything, then you're going to see a boom of white content creators talking about this Good Times reboot. Right now, it's just about black people and how we feel about the trailer. And of course, we don't matter to these people because as I've said before, we, are, we have this very unhealthy obsession with white people in the black community so much to the extent that we talk over ourselves directly to them 
All right, we saw this with the American Society of Magical Negroes. That wasn't for black people. That was for white people. That was trolling white people. Years ago, there was a show called Dear White People. There was never a show called Dear Black People. This is what we do, unfortunately. Content creators, this, um, I should say in the industry, in the industry, Hollywood, that's what they do in showbiz. They never make anything that's for us, that's by us. They just don't do it. Everything has always got to be with a little tongue in cheek taking jabs at white people. That's what that is. And I believe that's what you're going to see with this reboot of Good Times. You're just going to see that uh, in a nocturnal state of mind <laughs> means that they're going to be showing how white people put guns in the hood. White people put drugs in the hood. White people keep black people from getting jobs. White people keep our educational system from educating our children. It's all white people's fault, as Yvette Nicole said, because no matter what station in life that we're in, we always have this boot on our necks. This is what they want to see. It 100% lines up with her values. Of course, it was all there all along. That's what this is for. This is more trolling for white people. So, of course, this is what you're going to see. This is my prediction. Like I said, either it will be true or it won't be true. But I'm not above sticking my neck out and saying, yeah, if we're going to stay consistent, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that this show is just made to take more jabs at white people, especially considering this is an election year because they're scared to death. Uh, Yvette Nicole Brown spends the majority of her time on her Twitter page going after Trump. You know, a fear mongering against Trump. This is what's going on. They are going into hyperdrive now because more black men, more black women are beginning to actually drift over towards Trump. I mean, it's just happening. I don't know. You know, you got Candace Owens. I mean, all of this, you got to put it in context. All right. So they're scared to death. So, of course, this is a timely thing. You know, they want this to happen and they want these white content creators to come out and say all types of crazy shit about this black production so that black people, once again, we have the whys and the why nots. Now, in the past week or two, we've already had the whys. Why are they making this show? Why are they doing this? What do they have to prove by this? But once the white content creators get hold of this, they're hoping that the why nots will come out. The why nots in the black community. Well, why not? Why not? Why, why can't we have a show showing white supremacy? You know what I mean? And then they get their backs up and they're right back where they need to be. You know what I mean? I think that's what we're looking at here, guys. I know I'm brilliant. I like, boom, mind blown, right? Don't act like y'all thought of this. You didn't, all right? I'm the one who brought this out first, damn it. But that's what I'm seeing, guys. That's what I'm seeing. I mean, I, I don't know. I could be wrong. But I, I got the balls to put this out there. This is what I'm thinking, all right? Like I said, who knows? But what do you think, guys? Because the question was put out there. I just don't like to ask a question. The question is, who is this for? I'm attempting to answer the question because you guys know. I like to think. I like to, you know, some people when I was growing up, my, I remember people used to tell me, Mark, you think too much. I used to be like, what the hell kind of thing is that to say? But anyway, maybe it's true. But that's what I think about this. All right. So what do you guys think? Who is this for? What do you think about my theory? This is actually for... This is actually to outrage white people so that they rage against it and then they get black people to come and, you know, the same old divisive stuff. So get in the comment section. Let me know how you think about this. What do you think about it? And um, I look forward to seeing your comments as always, guys. As always, you can like, you can share, you can subscribe. Thank you guys for all of that and your comments. And of course, the contributions that you might make to the Cash App in the pinned comment below as well as the super thanks. I talk about it because YouTube is going to jerk me until, I don't know, the day I die. But anyway, guys. Thank you once again, and I will catch you on the next one. This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on.